Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. And we are both endocrinologists at the University of California, San Diego, and we've both been living with type 1 diabetes since we were 15 years old. So we know firsthand how important continuous glucose monitoring is for patients, because as we always say, CGM is the greatest advance since the discovery of insulin. And it's absolutely true. And since it's so important, it's critical for patients to have options when it comes to determining which CGM is right for them. So we're gonna to talk today about a particular CGM called the Eversense E3 six month sensor, or just the E3. So tell us a little bit about the E3. Yeah, just real briefly, it's a very small sensor, gets put in under the skin, stays there for six months. At the end of six months, you switch it out and you have another six months of continuous glucose monitoring. In fact, it's a very short office-based procedure. Hmm. Well, you know, you keep talking about how it's such an easy procedure. Why don't you just get it inserted then? Well, I'm not sure who would do it. Well, I don't know. How about this guy? Hey, what are the chances Steven, that I run hey. into you guys? It's Steven Hahn, internationally known uh, ever since inserter that just so happened to be in our office. So it's so great to, to have you here. What are the chances? Yeah. Yeah. David, you're an endocrinologist. Why are you wearing surgical scrubs? Yeah, well, uh, I got these for Halloween. <laughs> I like pretending I'm a surgeon, um, but I'm actually an endocrinologist, as Steve said. Um, I actually trained a year behind uh, Jeremy at UCSD, and Steve was our mentor. Um, and we're here to talk about the Eversense and get you started on one. Yeah, so thanks for being here. We're actually gonna do the implantation right here in the office in a second, but tell us, you know, since you've done, I heard over 200 of these, what patients tell you about what they like about it? You know, what's some of the feedback you hear? Yeah, I think just to start, I think what patients really love about it is the flexibility of it. So there's a transmitter that you wear over the skin, but since there's nothing actually penetrating your skin, you can take off the transmitter whenever you want and then put it right back on. So if you're going swimming or something like that, you can just take it off and then put it back on when you get to shore. Or you just, you know, you don't want your diabetes to be visible that day. You know, women wearing a dress or whatever, you can take it off, you can put it right back on. So what else do people like? Uh, they really like the fact that it's highly accurate. My patients are always telling me just, they love seeing um, the number match up with their glucose meter. Yeah. And um, it has vibratory alerts, which I can tell you a little bit more about during the procedure. Well, cool. I'm excited to, to actually see this. So, you know, David's here. He's the expert on, you know, actually doing the procedure. Steve is going to be getting it implanted and I will be your color commentary, um, you know, just mostly supporting Steve, but also making fun of him when it's appropriate. So <laughs> let's get started right over here. Let's go. All right, we are back. We got Steve on the table. This is not a stunt double. Say hi, let them know you're okay. It's really me. <laughs> <laughs> and David, uh, tell us what you've done already and what's next. So first we marked the area that we're gonna be putting the sensor, and then we created a sterile field with this drape. And next we're gonna really get started with the procedure by um, using lidocaine to numb the area. So hey, let's get hey, started. David, is, that gonna, is this gonna hurt? No, so uh, really the lidocaine is probably the only place uh, where you might feel something. I tell patients it might pinch and burn, but no different than like a blood draw or something like that. And at Steve's request, I stopped by his house and got Mr. Fuzzleworth, um, who's gonna be here with you, you know, for the whole uh, procedure. So I'm gonna hold on to him, but he's gonna be right here. I want to hug him. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, we'll get started. So this is a part where you might feel a pinch and a burn as we put in the lidocaine, okay? Okay. All right, lidocaine's going in. How you doing, Steve? Good. All right, so we're gonna just uh, let that area get numbed up for a moment or two. Any questions you have about the procedure or anything like that? Nope. <laughs> You're doing okay. great. Is it over yet? <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting for the numbing medication to kick right in. Um, so that when we do it, it'll be completely painless. So is it a problem when people have like bulging biceps? That's a good question. So as you can see here, you know, Steve <laughs> is quite cut and muscular. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done patients that are... I can't see that. <laughs> well, you know, we'll Photoshop that okay. in. Um, but uh, yeah, I've done it on patients that have quite big muscles. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there always are little crevices in between, kind of the deltoid. And so there's like, there are areas where you can put it in. So I put okay. it in on some pretty buff guys but maybe Steve will be the most buff. <laughs> and again, like, you know, it's important to see, like, as you can see, this is something that you can do in a very like common office room that, you know, there's not a whole lot of setup that's required. And, you know, this is, um, I don't know, pretty familiar to people, I would say. Yeah, the room that we use in my office is actually, it's just the same room that I see patients in. Yeah. So there's already, you know, most exam rooms already have an exam table and you don't need anything fancy, uh, no fancy equipment, just a table and supplies. And Mr. Fuzzleworth. <laughs> So uh, we'll do a quick test of sensation just to make sure that the numbing medication is fully working. Does that feel prickly at all or is it just pressure? Just pressure. Okay. 
So we know the numbing medication is working, so uh, let's get started. So first I'm going to make a tiny uh, incision. And then this tool helps us create a little pocket where the sensor is going to go. And really it was just that one little incision, right? There's no more... Yeah, it's less than half the width of my fingernail. Yeah. So it's, very, uh, it's a very narrow incision. And now the tunnel has been created. So we're going to try to put in the sensor now. This is the sensor deployer? Yes, the sensor deployer. <laughs> That's, is that the official term? Or? <laughs> I always forget the official terms, but I call it, you know, the sensor deployer totally works. And that's it. The sensor's already in. Did you notice anything? Did you feel anything? Nope, nope, but not at all. Awesome. So we'll just apply a little bit of pressure for a few moments, and then that's really it. And we'll just put on those steri strips, what I called the band aids. Um, and the procedure's already done. Yeah, I mean, that was ridiculously fast. For real. <laughs> yeah. Most patients are shocked when, they're, when they hit this point. They're like, wow, you're already done. Yeah. So we're done with the procedure. Uh, we're just going to put on some steri strips, which is basically like a band aid. And then we'll sit you up and we'll talk about aftercare. That's awesome. Hey, Jeremy, I think you could even do this. Oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> and it's true, actually. Really, any endocrinologist or physician, um, can uh, NP or PA, can be trained to do this. Very easy. All right, Steve, so we're done. How'd it go? It went really well. I really couldn't believe how fast you did it, and it was easy. I hear that all the time. So let me tell you a little bit about what's going to happen next. So as you can see here, there's a very small bandage and um, on top of the Band-Aid. And so you're going to let that fall off naturally, so don't pull it off on your own. And for the next five days, you just want to make sure you're not having prolonged exposure to water. So you can shower, that's totally fine. You just don't want to be sitting in a sauna or a hot tub, just kind of letting your arm marinate in water. Um, but showers are completely fine. So tomorrow, you will start being able to get readings. Um, and so it actually, when you get readings, in addition to those, you also get vibratory alerts. Uh, we call it the on-body vibratory alerts. And that's one of the distinct features of the E3. Um, so there's actually a unique pattern for high blood sugar and low blood sugar. So you don't even have to look at your phone. You don't even have to have your phone on you, and you can feel whether you're going high or low. Yeah. That's good because Mr. Fuzzleworth doesn't have a cell phone, but he can still tell if he's high or low by the, you know, the number of buzzers. We're, we're both type ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and then tell us about uh, calibrations. Do you need to enter numbers from your, your blood sugar meter? Yeah, so one of the main reasons my patients find this uh, sensor to be so accurate is it does have calibrations. So for the first 21 days, uh, it requires two finger stick calibrations. And then after that, it's mostly one calibration a day. Okay. And then you start getting your readings, hopefully good readings for, for Steve here. I'm gonna get these tomorrow, I can't wait. <laughs> and then uh, do you tell people just to schedule their six month appointment then or? Yeah, so as patients are leaving, just like when you're normally leaving your doctor's office, we'll schedule the next follow-up. If you need to be seen sooner for your care, obviously do that, but if not, six months, um, and that's really convenient. Okay. Well, then I guess you'll see Steve in six months. I'll see months. you in six months. Yeah. Well, Take thanks care. so much, David. That was amazing. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thanks, Steve, for, for, for doing that. Hey, I'm excited about it. All right. Take care. Take care.